hello friends welcome back to our channel mysimhelp.in uh, in this video we will uh, look about the uh, s4 hana public cloud data migration cockpit the new method called direct transfer okay uh, so uh, i cannot call it as a new method but then uh, this uh, you can be part of this program so you will know how you can become part of this program okay so i have a lot of videos prepared for the direct uh, the data migration cockpit i will put those links uh, in the detail section descriptions you can have a look into that a very specific uh, playlist is also there for the data migration cockpit that can give you some information about that okay uh, so what is this direct transfer so if you see what is this direct transfer so in the data migration cockpit there are two ways that you can push the data okay one is using a staging table staging table means like how you had lsmw had ltmc etc where you prepare a data you keep prepare it in an excel sheet and then you use it to upload it to a uh, S, uh, ecc or this s4 hana systems correct here uh, when you use direct uh, the data migration cockpit uh, you cannot create your own templates the migration cockpit has an option to download the file and you have to use the template and using the template you can uh, you can upload the data okay the first step in date one is to upload the file so in a predefined template format the data will get uploaded and it get it goes and first sits in a staging table from there it gets processed uh, this is how it does okay the one more option we had in that data migration cockpit is uh, i think it, it was from s4 hana 2022 especially in the on-prem edition was uh, migrate data directly from sap system so when you say directly from SAP system means when you have two systems, one is like you have an SAP ECC system from there you wanted to migrate to S4 HANA system, then you can establish an RFC connection between these two systems and then you can directly pull the data from your ECC system and then you can bring it to S4 HANA system. Okay, this is called as a direct transfer system. And uh, it has its own pre-request where you have to have at certain levels in the enhancement pack level, etc. But then the method was available. Okay. Uh, in this slide, I have uh, this is about on-premise system, which has a lot of these things. But then what we are going to now see is about the public cloud part. Okay. The the latest, when I say latest, it is on the 4th September. There is a note which SAP has released. I will give you the notes, detail, everything in the description, which is saying that there is a early adapter program. Okay. So early adapter program is uh, how uh, you, you, know, you can be part of the beta version or you can enroll yourselves for the early adapter program. In this program, what they are saying is you can, if you are, uh, you know, if you are going to do using the SAP data migration cockpit in the public cloud, then you, if you wanted to be part of it, you can enroll this. And then there are some source uh, pre-requests, like if you're migrating from e ECC to uh, S4 HANA, then you can yourself enroll to this program. And then that will help you to, uh, I mean, uh, they will enroll you and they will enable you this uh, particular direct transfer method, maybe for your particular uh, client and etc so that then you will help uh, there will be set of people who will assist you to uh, migrate this data etc and all from sap side also so what is this new future so the old one was using stage and so old one in the public load it was only the staging table so there are some new met, uh, this direct transfer from erp system uh, it will be the s4 uh, sorry it will be from the ecc system is now enabled for the early adapters okay so this is the part and the, what are all the pre-requests is like you should have a source system which is an SAP ERP system which should be ECC6 and your target environment should be a S4 HANA 3 system landscape okay so I think after 2302 uh, all these things are all about uh, 3 system landscape only so that is one thing and then yeah, you have planned to use the uh, migrate data using stages tables okay uh, and then uh, there are only not all the objects are available so what are all the objects available that is available uh, that i have listed it here you can see this here okay the uh, business partner cost center profit center etc and all so these are all the list of objects that they are planning to use it the remaining object as per the data migration cockpit will still be using the staging table only so if it is okay for you then you can look at the early adapter program for this note as i said this 3252 723 sap s4 hana migration cockpit direct transfer for public cloud you can see this this note version 3 released on 4th september of 2023 okay 
so if you go through this note it has a lot of details so as i said this is only for the early adapter that program okay it's not for everybody so you have to have a look into this notes you have to look at the pre-request what is all given here so i think the pre-requests are given here okay all these pre-requests are given here you have to be part of it and then if you are okay for this early adapter program so there's a hyperlink if you click here it will take you there and give you more details if you are okay for this then you can be part of this program and you can try to uh, get yourself adapted with the direct answer method also okay go through the sap note and uh, this is a snapshot of what is available there and uh, in case if you if you are in the progress of going to public cloud and if you wanted to use the direct transfer get enrolled to the early adapter program and it will be helpful and the sap will also help you uh, in terms of uh, this migration give it some expertise on those sort of things okay uh, thanks for watching this as i said the previous videos link and all i will put it in the description uh, so that uh, if you have any use leave a comment okay thank you guys